What's up guys, I'm back with another video. We're about to get into some more of that Orion Prelude game I've been showing you. Again, it's just a really insane game. Insanely fun as well. I really think that if you buy this game, you'll really like it. And again, it's super cheap right now because it's still in beta. Now, I don't know if you've heard about this game, but it actually took a lot to actually get it into production. How it is now because um, they had a lot of problems at the studio. They actually had to cancel the project several times. And you know, like, the uh, actual creator of the video game almost gave up on the game. Um, I'm pretty sure he's quoted as saying that he thought, you know, it wasn't going to ever see the light of day. But yeah, I mean, it's been in the making for a long time, and compared to what it looked like before, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it, it, it went through what it went through, because it looks a lot better now than it did back in the day. It just really looks amazing, and I know that a lot of the people that were following the game are just really happy with the way it turned out. So again, you can pick it up right now, it's on Steam, it's super cheap, it's super fun, and they're still working on it. There's all sorts of new stuff coming out. I know for Christmas they actually had some events going on and uh, it was actually pretty fun, pretty crazy. I fought Santa Claus. As you can tell the graphics are good too, so yeah, they actually created an entire map for the Santa Claus enemy um, and new enemies, like instead of fighting dinosaurs, you were fighting like little, little Goombas. It's pretty fun. I actually really enjoyed it. As you can see, the maps are fairly large. I mean, I don't really get bored playing this game. Not gonna lie. I really like this game. I really want to see it completed, you know, and I've dealt with a lot of games that I really like that didn't make it out of beta. Which is unfortunate. You guys may have seen my Ghost in the Shell first assault videos. I really like that game, you know, and honestly if I would have known that the studio was in trouble, I would have made some microtransaction purchases I did not know. So I was a little pissed off when all of a sudden they're like, oh, whoa, we gotta go. We're sunsetting because we're not doing too good. Nobody told me anything, you know what I mean? I mean, I've sunk in a large amount of time into Grand Theft Auto Online and money as well. Uh, it's not really a problem to me and um, I only paid like $5 for full first assault or like $9. It wasn't that much. Um, and then they started to give it away for free. But I paid more for Grand Theft Auto. And uh, I don't know, I mean, I spend so much time there and uh, I really feel a part of the community. I feel like I'm not completely ignored by the company when I do reach out to support, so, you know, I have no problem with supporting people's creations, content, whether it be a video game or videos, any sort of art I'm really into, you know, all sorts of things, it doesn't have to be art. But yeah, I really love this game. I hope you're enjoying the gameplay footage I got here. Again, I am using the uh, crossbow. I do pick up a minigun. You're not going to see that in this episode. I know I talked about it in the last episode. However, I will be grabbing that. And uh, it gets insane. It's like... It reminds me of the uh, minigun pickup from Grand Theft Auto online where you know you're wearing armor and stuff because as you can see I have a jetpack and in combination with the minigun it's pretty insane. So yeah there's a little bit of freezing and stuttering going on I do apologize you know I do have this new build I'm working on 
I just finished optimizing the system and you can expect even higher quality videos coming out but hey I'm running a potato I mean it's a super potato at this point but I actually call this build you know the master potato or the angry whopper because my last build was definitely a super potato it was working on the Intel Duo generation so the very first quad cores that came out I had one of those I maxed it out I had the best processor maxed out the memory as well this is a really nice build you know but I had to tear it down to actually uh, move so the new build is a newer generation which I am loving but as you can see I don't have the best processor right now I did actually manage to get a video card with shadow play Gotta take this T-Rex out real quick. As you can see, you can also uh, you can shoot far. I mean, this game has a lot of potential and it's already insanely fun. So I highly recommend it. But yeah, you may have heard me talking about wanting to get Shadow Play when I had my last build, when I was uh, working on a lot of my Skyrim modifications. So I finally got that, and I really feel like I'm going somewhere with this channel. So I do wanna continue to thank my supporters, everybody that has been there with me, especially everybody I play with on Steam and everybody that follows me on Steam. Thank you guys so much. It's extremely refreshing, you know, to have fans like you guys because, you know, you may have heard about my experience on Nexus Mods. I did make a video about that. And it was a horrible experience, you know, so I feel like it's really helped me to appreciate everybody on moddb.com, on skyrimforge.com, curse.com, and Steam. You know, um, even everybody I play with on Grand Theft Auto Online, everybody I'm playing with right now, I feel like I can really appreciate, you know, just the quality of people that I'm dealing with compared to just the bitter and angry people that I dealt with on nexusmods.com because you know I'm pretty sure I've asked this before but would you kick out the mod creator that has the number one file on your website you know especially when it was not my fault but anyways I've already tried to get into uh, contact with superiors of the uh, shitty admin that banned me, but I've had no responses. So that is unfortunate. I don't really care. I'm sorry, but I don't. Again, um, I talked about it in my last videos, but Skyrim Forge actually allows me to archive every single version of my mod. So my version history is actually up there, and that's actually saved my ass in the past to um, where I had some missing models and I was able to just download an old version of my mod and reincorporate it into the game. Actually, I actually really enjoy it. <coughs> I actually really enjoy um, downloading the different versions of Skyrim Shadows and um, FPS Fix. And I know I've kind of stopped updating my mods but I am actually about to upload a new version of Skyrim Shadows and FPS Fix. It is the last version I'll be releasing and it is tons better than the last release. It is insanely good and before I actually sold my computer I was working on an insane mod list. You may have seen the very last video in my Skyrim mod list mini series. It did have to do with that very mod list built and it did incorporate the final version of Skyrim Shadows and FPS fix. It looked insanely good and you could say it even looked better than the Skyrim Special Edition. That was actually the only thing that made me sad about you know the whole having to sell my PC besides having to sell my PC. Um, but yeah losing that mod build was uh, a little heartbreaking but I did manage to recover a lot of the lost data that, you know, was a part of that. Um, you may have heard about that virus I got. So that transferred onto my USB. It's a 
virus that I actually did not get a chance to um, decode, but yeah, it was pretty vicious. I actually had to use a Linux operating system to even access the USB, which was the only remnants I had of the virus. I unfortunately wiped it clean. I did get my USB drive back, which was very important to me. But yeah, I recovered everything from that USB and from my hard drive, so you can expect all that coming out soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can expect more in the future. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and keep yourself posted to the channel because I got a lot coming out. And you can really expect the channel to start taking off. Again, I want to thank all my supporters. Remember to give that video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next video.